think I'm ready for my close-up. What's up, y'all? It's my kid. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And today I'm going to be talking to you guys about these box sprays using the rubber band method. I've been seeing these a lot here on YouTube, and I kind of wanted to try the method out on my head to see how the process would go. And of course, you guys, I had to have some color. I gotta have some color on my ends and everything. This is very new, fairly new with the little bright ends or whatever. This is new for me. But like I said, I love color. Not a lot of color. Not a lot of color. The outrageous pinks and rainbows and not, I can't, mm -mm, I can't play with her. I can't do her. It's too much. If you guys are like me and cannot stand that knot at the beginning or at the root of the braids, I'm gonna be showing you guys what I did to achieve the, I guess, the knotless or I don't know. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I did because I don't like that knot. It's ugly to me. I don't like it. It doesn't look natural. So I tried to make this look natural as possible. And you guys make sure you follow me on my Instagram at only. You guys make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss another upload. Click the little bell so you are notified. And I'm gonna jump right into this tutorial. Let's go. And I got my hair off eBay. They had a three bundle, so I ended up getting six bags. And the, I got the color in brown, black, and beige. So I already did my hair off camera in the back. Um, I have triangle parts and left out a section to show you guys the process. And my hair is already moisturized and everything. So I'm gonna jump right into this. And the process is really easy. So um, I take my hair out of the twist and I comb out the little my hair or whatever, and then. I take the crochet hook and I put it under the rubber band and the section that I have already sectioned off for the braid I'm going to take a small piece from that section and I'm going to put it on the on the hook and I'm going to lock the hook down or whatever and I'm going to bring the hair through the under the rubber band and then I'm going to keep that loop and then I'm going to take the rest of the hair and bring it through the loop and make sure the ends are even and then I'm just going to pull it together so I can have three sections and then I'm going to part my hair in ways to where it can blend with the braiding hair and I'm gonna start braiding that down I'm gonna use gel and I'm using the eco style gel to help smooth out my flyaways and so it can help me with a smoother braid And here is a close-up of the process and I'm just going to let you guys watch and see what I am doing. And I'm sorry you guys, I didn't show you guys that I um, put glue on, the, on my ends. I just like to secure my ends with glue. You don't have to do that. That's just what I like to do to my, my ends. And then I just use scissors to clean up the uh, flyaways. I'm so sorry y'all, I didn't show that on camera. And then I wanted to add beads to my four braids in the front. And then I'm gonna show you guys the braid, the beads that I installed because I wanted beads in the front. I had to get help with my braids in the front because Lord have mercy, it just took forever to get the braids done. And right here, I'm just showing you guys the beading pattern that I used. I looked everywhere for beads, y'all. Like every store, beauty supply store I went to did not have like wooden beads or regular wooden beads. They had colorful beads, like ugly little girl beads. I don't want those beads. They're like too girly for me. So I found the perfect bead.
and at this part I wanted to use a Cori shell and I want to put it on my on my braids crochet in my hair on the braid so what I do I take the Cori shell and I take a rubber band and I bring it through the shell and I'm going to wrap it some type of way so <laughs> the loop is over the other loop <laughs> and then I'm going to take the crochet hook and I'm going to put it through my braid and then I'm going to take the rubber band and I'm going to put it on the hook and bring it through and then I take the rubber band and wrap it over the Cori shell when I finished I oiled my scalp or grease my scalp and then I'm going to take some mousse of course to help with the longevity of my braids I gotta add some mousse And this is the completed look, you guys. I love how they came out. I was a little skeptic at first because I thought that I was gonna need more hair, but eventually I made it work. And my initial plan was to braid my hair to the scalp. You know, the little, you know, braid to the scalp and the braids in the back individually. It's a trend right now. I wanted to do that, but I just kind of rocked with the rest of the individual braids to the back or just, you know, down or whatever. And I really, really like how they came out and, and my front, I really, really struggled. I had to get my, my sister and my mom to help me <laughs> get the front because I cannot braid like this way. It's too difficult, too difficult. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up. I surely would appreciate that. Let me know what you guys would like to see next for protective styles. I have a lot of ideas, but I really want to know what you guys would like to see done but other than that i want to thank you guys so much for watching to the end thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video